importance of EU-Japan cooperation in the area of social affairs has a long history. Uh, it was first um, formally identified in 1991 in the EU-Japan Joint Political Declaration and reaffirmed later in the Action Plan. Um, the challenge is recognized as a mutual one and uh, it invites us to review existing policies, exchange experience and promote dialogue. And this conference is a significant contribution um, to that. Uh, to me, it is uh, very encouraging to know that EU is expanding its role to its roles, not only in, in economic terms or political matters, but to these social issues. Uh, and there, uh, Japan and EU will be able to have a lot of uh, uh, intensive discussions and, and to share uh, knowledge, uh, lessons learned, best practices and, and uh, energize ourselves to meet common challenges. But we also learn that EU has 27 members with 500 million people. And, and in, when it comes to social issues or social policies, there are many uh, uh, ideas uh, uh, and many um, facets to it. I'd like to extend my warmest welcome to the participants today and tomorrow's conference, which is the 20th in uh, a series of uh, journalist conferences that aim to raise awareness uh, of issues of common concern, uh, both for the European Union and for Japan. Institutions in each country has its uh, history has its course and uh, uh, whatever the challenges we face is as dependent. Uh, it comes from uh, how we have uh, dealt with those issues in the past. Uh, but then we can learn uh, from each other on, 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 on best practices and lessons learned. How the EU and Japan can face up to the challenges uh, brought with aging relations. The aging of populations is the inevitable consequence of fundamentally positive uh, developments. In the first place, obviously, greater life expectancy, uh, but it carries with it uh, far-reaching demographic, socio-economic uh, changes which compel us to reform uh, the existing social models, institutions, lifestyles, for reasons of both uh, economic efficiency and social equity. Uh, we need to raise uh, employment rates. Uh, in Europe you have this list of targets, um, that is uh, by 2010 employment rates should be 60% uh, for women and, um, and for the aged, so that is uh, ambitious target that requires social reforms and also it was suggested that we take life cycle approach. Uh, population aging is also the result of a low fertility rate, uh, a phenomenon which is particularly acute in Japan. Uh, the reasons for this lie partly, apparently, in late access to employment, job instability, expensive housing, and lack of incentives and social infrastructure, uh, such as childcare. Um, yes, we live longer, and, and that is very good, uh, and therefore we face this aging or, 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 or grain of the population. Uh, but it could be uh, 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 it, there could be many uh, uh, problems, uh, structural failures or contradictions uh, hidden behind uh, the uh, lowering of the fertility rate. Uh, one of it could be uh, the inequality uh, of gender, uh, that uh, uh, women must choose between uh, work and family. And uh, some other reasons could be um, uh, instable employment uh, uh, opportunities for young people. 
um, there could be multiple reasons behind why uh, we are facing demographic change. If it, it is only due to uh, uh, the fact that we are living longer with, in good health, it is a very positive aspect of the demographic change. But we also have to address uh, some of the uh, concerns uh, that we have shared uh, 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 in, in terms of the lack of work-life balance and uh, gender, in, uh, gender equality. In the aging society, those who take care of others are aging too. And uh, how was it? What's your impression? Well, it's great. It's the best things of this kind of um, conferences uh, to to get acquainted with the, the, the journalists from Europe. And most of them, yeah. Well, everybody told me that it's the, their first time to come to Japan and. Uh, so everything is new for them, but the same token, it's, uh, everything is new for me mm. to learn from them. So this is a great opportunity. Okay, and uh, what do you think are the challenges for the journalists in dealing with this topic of Asian society, since it's a really sensitive topic and also it's also complicated? What do you think the challenges and what sort of uh, aspects should we be careful? I think uh, the most difficult uh, point of this issue how to uh, handle, how to tackle the problem of the aging society is uh, that uh, there's no one single answer, solution for, to resolve the problem. So we have to decide our position. So as a journalist, we have to think of the variety of the, the options and you have to choose one. So it is not as easy things for journalists. Uh, so uh, that's the most difficult thing. Okay. And uh, do you think this sort of uh, like exchange, sort of conference uh, with European and Japanese journalists, do you think this is really important in order to conduct your uh, activity in Japan? Yes, it is. Now, uh, I think the, the information flow on the globe is uh, mostly comes from the U.S. to Japan, so far. And uh, when it comes to the European information and how Whenever we learn about uh, European policy, public policy, it's, uh, we tend to see the Europe through the prism of the US or the eyes of London, for example. But uh, what's going on in the continental Europe? That is, this is what we have to really learn. And it's, this provides a great opportunity to do so. So that's why I really appreciate, really appreciate this opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. That was it.